I do so many videos on forms. I think the one thing I've never touched on is how to change the form submission email. So when you submit a form, where does that form submission actually go to? This happens a lot. So I teach a lot of Squarespace designers and what tends to happen is they forget to change this. It's such a small thing, but so many people do it. Whatever email you're logged into your website on, that is going to be the email that the form goes to by default. So whoever sets that form up, it's going to go to their email. What you need to do is head in, because if you want to send it to, let's say, an info at company email or someone else's email entirely, you need to change that manually because otherwise all form submissions from that form are going to come through to the original email. So let's get into it. This is how to change your form submission email on Squarespace. So we're on my site. Now, what I want to do is go to my contact page and you can see how that's set up. So let's say, uh, where's contact? There we go. So let's go over to the form. If we click on edit and then we double click, let's bring this over. Just click on storage and you can see where that email is going to go to. Now, what happens is, let's say um, I duplicate this and we've got the form, it's going to take on, so it's going to give it a, a strange name, so obviously rename it, but then the storage is going to immediately or automatically go to the email that you're logged in with. So whoever's logged into the site and creates the form, it's going to automatically go to that email. What you need to do is click, and then you can just replace this email with whatever email you want it to go to. So this is good if you are creating a website on behalf of a company or you're using your personal email, but you want it to go to your company email, you just put it in here. So, you know, let's say sam at mycompany.com. Once you're done, you just literally click out. And if we were to click back in storage, you can see that's updated here. Then you'd save obviously, and you'd be done. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.